Well, seeing uh, no more folks wanting to provide comments, um, suddenly you got bashful. I don't, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, well, I just want to thank everybody for coming to today's competition workshop. I think we heard a number of issues today, and we learned a lot from our panelists. And I thank them for taking the time to participate today. I especially want to thank the president of Alabama A&M and, and all the folks here at the, at the university that did everything they could to get everything ready. And they did a great job. And I thank them greatly for doing that. Um, I also thank our folks at USDA and DOJ for helping get all the logistics and everything put together. And I, uh, as I have said at the Iowa workshop, I appreciate the good working relationship we've had with the Department of Justice working on these issues and looking forward on that. I want to thank uh, Congressman Davis and Alabama Agricultural Commissioner Ron Sparks for attending this morning. And I will just mention that our next competition workshop will be held on June 25th, and it will focus on competition and dairy issues in Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, then we'll have a livestock competition workshop on August 27th in Fort Collins, Colorado, and then a workshop on margins on December 8th in Washington, D.C. Um, I will turn it over to Dudley or uh, Bill if you have any comments. Go ahead. Uh, I just want to reiterate um, on behalf of the Department of Justice our thanks to Alabama A&M University. It's been uh, truly a privilege for us to be here, and a lot of people put in a lot of work behind the scenes to to get this um, to get this event going, and, and, and uh, I think we had a really good and productive day today. Um, I especially want to thank all of you for for coming here. Um, we have heard throughout the day that there's there's a real hardship in you being here, either for a fear of retaliation or just the mere fact of having to take a day off of work to, to come here and, and tell your story. Uh, we, we have we have heard your stories. We we understand them. We appreciate them, and, and we understand the. The, the importance of the issues that are being talked about here today. Uh, so once again, I just want to thank you all for, uh, for being here. I'd just like to say that uh, I want to reiterate that uh, and tell you a fact. The last time that the Packers and Stockyards Act was on a presidential agenda was on Woodrow Wilson's agenda. That's back when it was passed. The act is on President Obama's agenda. I think we have shown today that we are serious about this. Uh, to have the Secretary of Agriculture, to have the Attorney General, the Assistant Attorney General here, if for nothing else, it costs a lot of money to get them down here. But they are very, very interested, as we are, in solving problems in agriculture. It is very important not only to the industry, but to the producers, the farmers, and the consumers. And we're committed to do so. And I want to thank all of you for taking time out of your busy schedules to come and visit with us and make comments. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks to these people right here. So they need a really big hand.